A federal grand jury indicting John E. Murray III on 12 counts of producing child exploitation images and four counts of sex trafficking of a minor. The charges date back to 2015. He was charged previously in state court. The uh, federal authorities have been looking at this case as well, and these indictments were brought as a result of that. The federal indictment says Murray was in charge of hiring and supervising employees at the marina, some of which were minors who he'd form close personal relationships with. Five victims, identified only as John Doe's, are named in the court paperwork. The indictment alleges Murray asked those underage employees to take sexually explicit pictures and videos of themselves, send them over text or Snapchat, often in exchange for cash. Court documents also say Murray, quote, subjected numerous minor employees to unwanted sexual contact and sexual acts. That, too, sometimes for money. The next steps, Mr. Murray um, has been in state custody since 2021. Uh, he will be brought to federal court to be arraigned on these uh, charges. Prosecutors say those state charges are similar in nature to this federal case. He's also facing civil lawsuits from alleged victims. Now, we don't know when he's set to be arraigned on these charges, but a trial date will be set typically after his first appearance. That usually happens within 90 days. Live in Concord tonight, Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9. Marissa, thank you. And the owner of the marina is also facing state charges. Brian Fortier is accused of sexually assaulting a teenage employee on two occasions. Fortier is also named in the civil suits from alleged victims. He is married to John Murray.